a crack now, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I can brag now. Yeah, my niggas they gon' spread. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow back with another Madden 17 tip. I think everybody want to know about this tip. Yes, I'm bringing y'all those fire tips again. So the first thing we gonna talk about. First thing we gonna talk about. How to block nano blitz, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna know how to block nano blitz. So first of all, we're gonna talk about how to block a nano blitz, how to know if a nano blitz is coming, how to know what side it's coming from. So we're gonna come out with something like the most popular buck slant. So the first thing you wanna know, so the first thing you wanna notice when running this blitz, know that uh whenever someone sets up a blitz, they always have the baseline. So what baseline it means, when they hit baseline, they're gonna hit Y and they're gonna baseline. Man, my controller now. I'm bad, y'all. Hey, stick with me, stick with me, stick with me. Like I said, if y'all do enjoy these tip videos, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to leave a like if this video will help you. If you've been waiting for a video like this, please leave a like. And shout out to everybody. We just hit 27K like an hour ago, so I want to thank y'all for that. Everybody who supports me. Come on, turn on. You charge, bro. Come on, all right, charge up. All right, so what we talking about? So when they baseline, so I just baseline, right? I hit Y. I hit left on D-pad, I baseline. What this means is like, when I motion someone, when you baseline, your defense just freezes. Like, especially like when you just baseline, that, 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 that's just how it is. So like, when you baseline, you basically said everyone go back to normal. So when someone baseline and then they press, the defense is basically gonna be frozen. So you see, I move him over, no one moves because I baseline and press. So when you see like, the defense is like, when you see a defense is like that, and like, it looks like basically they're frozen, that means okay a blitz is coming when someone baseline and presses like you will be able to tell like if we go to something like this like when someone baseline and press like let's go like if we go pistol bunch like you see how those corners like you see how the corners is staying like you see how he's staying on the right side of the screen like y'all see how they just stay in their places that means someone baseline so that means okay they're setting up some type of blitz when someone baselines that means they're setting up a blitz setup or whatever next you're going to want to see okay now he baseline and press so this means, okay, now now you're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna look at everyone on the defense. So he can potentially be blitzing, right? So that's a potential. But one of the biggest risks is probably this guy off this edge right here because he just pressed, he's not moving. So so at this point, play rec is a big factor at this point. So you might know, okay, he's he's been running this nickel normal. Most likely what's coming is a, a cover two blitz or some sort of cover three blitz. So you wanna block your running back, uh motion. What is he doing, bro? Like I said, you just want to, so once you know where the blitz is coming from, all you want to do is block your running back, and then now we're going to try to block it, right? So, okay. I can't motion my running back over. So the first thing you usually want to do is motion your running back to the other side. Uh, if not, you can just always flip the play. Because, okay, now you can pick up this pressure, right? So now you're like, okay, he's blocking, he's coming from the right, so I'm going to block my running back, and then I can set up accordingly. So if it's the cover two blitz, I might have that fade right there. I might do this, and just in case it's cover three, I will always have a read. So now, when we do run a play, okay, like you see, the blitz gets picked up. Now you can make your read. Now you have more time in the pocket. Like I said, this happens with almost any blitz. You're going to notice they have to baseline. Like if y'all notice, y'all watch any of my blitz videos, the first thing I tell y'all to do is baseline. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, you just basically make everything normal. So like, say someone comes out in a nickel blitz too. Basically the same thing as a buck slant. So we come out with something like this. So the first thing you see how like, uh, if I was to... If I was to go to another, if I was to go to another formation, you see how the defense moves with them because I'm, I didn't base a line. So I go back to my other formation. So, but watch this. Let me base a line, press, set the blitz up, boom, boom, boom. The blitz is set up. You know, we, we spy this guy, we spy that guy, boom. But now, like I told you, you're like, okay, he base a line. So let's see what he's doing. Boom, look at this. They're staying in the same place. You see, heat is coming off the right. So you might want to block a tight end, pitch a running back on the route. Now you can block the blitz and you can pick it up a lot easier. You see, I blocked the tight end and it still doesn't work. Like I said, it just me I, I made a bad read there. Like I said, it just gives you the it just gives you a chance to actually have a play call or to actually be successful with the play. Like I said, that's the first thing to look at. When they base the line, they they can't move their defense. Their defense is basically frozen. So no matter what formation you go to, their defense is always gonna be frozen. But I know this looks weird. A lot of people be like, yo, J Mail. Like, I'll be playing people and like their corners like the outside of my receivers. Why does it, why is it happen like that? And this is exactly why. Like, you see how that corner just froze there. I, I go to another formation, they just froze. So if I don't know what I'm doing, this blitz can come in, but that time it got picked up, obviously. But like I said, if I don't know what I'm doing, I don't block anyone, it will come in. So now we're gonna talk about the most popular blitzes in the game. 
So I'm gonna tell you how to block the most popular blitzes in the game. So like, uh, let's say we go to something like, uh, let's go to this. What's, what's real popular? We're gonna first gonna start with the big dime, right? We're gonna start with the big dime. So we got slant zone two. A lot of people always ask me, how can you tell the difference between slant zone two and cover three bluff? Right here is the biggest tail. In slant zone two, this D tackle is standing on both of his feet. Y'all see how he's standing? He's not kneeled down. When this cover three bluff, he will be in a three point stand. Slant zone two, he's in a two point stand. So the setup for this, we're going to base a line, pitch our D-line, crash right, QB contain, boom. Uh, then we're going to man that guy up. Uh, people usually make adjustments. They do. They, they, they usually do whatever. They, that's what they do. So now once we're like, okay, he's in slant zone two. I see him. Uh, I see him. I see him like in a two-point stance, basically standing. So we're just going to put our cover two beater on the field. We're going to do that. We're going to put this guy in the out. We're going to do that. And then we block our running back to the same side to pick up that blitz. The blitz doesn't come in. You see he's in cover two. We dot him up. Boom, boom, boom. That's cold bleasy, so he's not he can't really do that. But that's how to block that blitz. Cause that's like that's really the biggest tail. And y'all gonna y'all gonna tell like when someone's running slant zone two and you see that, you know exactly what's coming. But with the cover three bluff, we're gonna run the same thing. With the cover three bluff, we look at this, now he's in the two-point stand. So basically they're doing the same setup. And they basically doing the same setup, but now he's in two-point stand. So now you know it's cover three. So now I'm pull out your cover three beater, do something. Do something, because you know it's cover three. He's probably cross man and block that running back. Put your route combos out, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. And then now that you know, like now that you can tell what coverages are what, now y'all can dot these defenses up, you feel me? And this makes, it makes your life so much easier to block any of these blitzes. So the next blitz we're gonna talk about how to block the uh, buck slant. How to block the buck slant. Buck slant, another one of the other most popular blitzes in the game. Like I said, all you want to do is a baseline press. Uh, let me set it up. Uh, now it's set up. I, 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 I ain't set this blitz in a while, y'all. My bad. Now the blitz is set up. You do this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. He's in cloud flat. Now you know where the blitz is coming from. Like, okay, he's baselining. And anything that looks odd, like if you see a corner out there, like you see this corner, how he's just standing there, y'all, you know he's either coming with some pressure. You know what I'm saying? Either he's coming with some pressure or he's in like something like DB fire to press. So you want to... Slide protect to the opposite way, block a running back or tight end to that side. And slide protecting to the opposite way just helps that tight end or running back block better. So you pitch your routes out on the field and you see the blitz gets picked up, boom, you playmaker, boom. That's how you, this, this is how you block these blitzes. Yes, we're blocking an extra person, but blocking these blitzes will help y'all. Now the last blitz we're gonna talk about, the three, four, no, the nickel blitz. We can talk about the nickel blitz too. Uh, another, another very popular formation. Uh, it's it's sometimes like a nickel blitz too is very hard to block. But like I said, uh, one thing you want to do with this, the one thing I found that was most successful with this nickel blitz too, like it, let's set the blitz up. All right, now, now the blitz is set up. One thing I found, if you block a tight end and you slide to the opposite way, you don't even have to block a running back. As long as you block this tight end to that same side, it actually picks up the blitz. And y'all see, by that time it didn't pick it up because the the nickel my bad y'all the nickel uh this nickel blitz is real like it's, it's almost unblockable like it, when you want to think about it. So, so sometimes i usually block a tight end and slide to that same side so i can pit my running back on the route uh but like, this, this way should work i'm pretty sure this way should work let me set the blitz up for y'all but y'all see like it's just this, this blitz is tough i uploaded this blitz Y'all see that way now we're blocking it. Uh yeah, it's slide. So you so all you want to do is slide to the same side with the nickel blitz. So a lot of people run out the nickel normal, nickel two four five. So remember, don't when you block a running back, like it just does not work, guys. I have no idea why. It just does not work. Uh I, I actually played against problem and I figured I had to figure this out the hard way. I'm like, why the hell want my running back freaking block? You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm blocking, like what is wrong with him? Like every time I do that, he just but, but that, that time it got picked up. But like, if any of y'all watching play problem, I do just wouldn't block. But this is the way to block the most popular nano in the game. So what I found out with that, if you block the tight end to that same side, that would help blocking the tight end and not the running back. Next, we're going to talk about the 3-4-I. One of the most, oh my lord, the 3-4-I is nasty. 3-4-I just nasty. So the setup for this, you just base a line, uh, shift your D-line to the right, crash to the right. Uh... That's all you really got to do and pit this guy in the spot. Usually people come hover here. So the best thing I found with this is blocking a tight end. Blocking a running back, sometimes it comes through. I'll notice when you block a tight end, it just picks up that guy right off the rip. So if y'all going against anything like a 3-4-I, just block a tight end. Don't block a running back because sometimes he can still run around that running back. So the only thing you want to do, like I said, block a tight end to that same side. 
with the 3-4 odd. Sometimes it still might come through because the 3-4 odd is a tough blitz. But like I said, when you block a running back, like let me block a running back. Like let me just block a running back. Oh wait, let me do this. Boom. A running back is blocked, so we're gonna do that. Uh, and then like just watch it, y'all. I come here and hover. I hike the ball. And y'all see, I mean that time he got picked up, but like it still just get good pressure. I just noticed blocking a tight end helps a lot. But like I said, and need this is the best way to block any blitz. Just make sure y'all read. Like I said, if they're base aligning, you know something's coming. If you see a, a, a slot corner press, you know pressure might be coming from that side. So always look at the defensive formation before you guys hike the ball and figure out what is what. And like I said, the slant zone too. Like I said, if he's standing on both feet, you know it's a slant zone too. If he's in a big time and he's in a three-point stand, it's probably the cover three bluff or the buck slant. But like I said, anybody y'all can and like i said play rec is also the most important thing if you recognize what your opponent does like if you saw him run this formation and you're like okay last time he ran a formation like this in the first quarter it was this blitz most likely he's doing that again so make sure y'all have good memory and just play rec play rec is the best big thing outsmarting your opponent but like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know what else y'all need help with but until then it's your boy jmail flow aka mr let's get it let's